you have anxiety, making a phone call can be really hard, very difficult. It can be paralyzing, can it? Years ago, I had a, a client uh, that <clears throat> had pretty severe social anxiety and uh, she couldn't do a lot of things. But one of her top things that she could not do or she felt like she couldn't do was make a phone call. To pick up the phone and say, uh, this is so-and-so, can I speak to so-and-so? She couldn't do it. She felt like uh, she was going to mess up. And if she were to mess up on the phone, that person that she was talking to would think she was stupid or a failure or dumb or whatever. And so that fear of what she might be perceived as kept her from making phone calls. And she would actually have other people make the phone calls for her. And so one of the things that I helped her come up with in, in a strategy, it didn't happen, didn't work uh, overnight. It didn't cure it overnight. But it was a strategy, a long form strategy, little by little, step by step. And if you've been watching any of my videos, that is the theme of what I believe that you're going to get better. That's how you're going to get better. It's little by little. You're not going to get better all of a sudden. It's not going to be you're going to discover this awesome thing and it's going to go away. The anxiety is just going to go away. It doesn't happen that way. It's little by little. It's being patient with yourself. And so when I helped her to think through this, okay, so it's not going to be easy. It's going to be one of the hardest things that you're going to have to do is to face your anxiety and pick up the phone call and have a conversation. She could go to work, okay. She was able to talk to people face-to-face -face for the most part. But when it came to having to call her boss and explain why she couldn't come in, Whoa, no, can't do that. Put on the brakes. That's not going to happen. So here's what I helped her with. I helped her come up with a script, a simple paragraph of what to say on the phone. They're not going to see you, so you can actually look at your notes. You can rehearse what you're going to say before you make the phone call. So in her case, it was picking up the phone, calling her boss and saying, I can't come in today. And just the thought of that, she thought she was going to stumble with her words. But then when she had a script and knew what she was going to say before she made the phone call, I helped tremendously. And so she did. She made a script in little by little by little. And now she's doing great and is able to make phone calls, take phone calls without really thinking about it. Sometimes there's some anxiety there. That, that pesky anxiety tends to stay with you. Uh, but she's able to live her life. She's able to not be trapped by not being able to make a phone call. And so I, I want you to be thinking through, if you have a fear of making a phone call, picking up the phone and talking to somebody, because you might say something you might say something that's embarrassing. Now, reality is you won't. And if you do, they're not going to laugh and make fun of you. But see, it's your anxiety that's preventing you. It's trying to whisper and sometimes shout in your ear that if you make a mistake, people are not going to like you. And so it's the fear of what people will think of you or the embarrassment that you're thinking that, oh my goodness, if I say this or stumble over my words, I'm going to be so embarrassed and nobody's going to like me and I just, I can't do it. And so I want to encourage you to work through, face your fear. You, the courage is inside you. You just have to find it. And so I want you to do this little by little. And so I would love to know what are your thoughts when it comes to having to make a phone call what, how does that happen? How, how does that work in your anxiety? Does it rise, make your anxiety rise? Is it high anxiety? Or maybe, maybe you have anxiety, but making a phone call is not that big of a deal to you. It's something else that's a big deal. I want to know. Tell me in, in the comments, what are some things that you struggle with 
uh, with your anxiety as far as having to put yourself out there, like make a phone call. I would love to know that. Put it in the comments, and we'll see you next time. Take care of yourself. Bye.